now we go out and about with Jiminy Glick. We have a wonderful, full-fledged icon to interview. Steven Spielberg's with us. Hi, Steven. Hello, Jiminy. Nice How to see you. How are you? Nice Very to see good. you. You've done so much. I didn't know half of it. And they were powdering me, and they were... I said, quickly, quickly, what's he done? And they gave me a list of stuff. You've got to be proud. Well, I, I'm proud. What have, you, what have you liked the best? I love this film you did. Schindler's Express with Goldie Hawn. I've never seen Goldie better. That, that was Schindler's List with Liam Neeson. This was his Goldie Hawn. Sugarland Express. That's what Goldie did. That was my first feature film. I think you're wrong here, and I think you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're, you're gonna feel badly later. But I accept your apology, Stephen. USC rejected. Must have stung. Yes, it stung. They, they said I couldn't go there because my grade point average wasn't high enough. <laughs> That's a good story. Well, I didn't finish it. Ah, oh, it's okay. Night gallery. <laughs> Tell me about working with Night Gallery with Joan Crawford. Oh, you would have loved Joan Crawford. You she played a blind her. person. She was looking for eyes. Yes, she did. She had. And she. She was. She said, "I don't have any eyes." Right. I remember that. She had her eyes exchanged for Tom Bosley's eyes. In real life, and this was based on that experience. Tom had his eyes exchanged for Joan Crawford's. They took his eyes out of his head and put them in Joan's head. This is in the film. And just as she could see, the New York blackout <sighs> occurred. So and how did you film? We had electricity because we were recreating the New York blackout. You we were recreating. Yeah, you left that part yeah. out. Unless you're specific, no one's going to follow I'm your sorry. story. I'll be clearer from now on. Blind people have often scared me. I'm always afraid they're going to skewer me with their canes because they can't see where they're going. They and can. I knew Christina Crawford. You and did? Yes, she couldn't drink Pepsi around her. Oh. She wouldn't allow it. She wouldn't allow it. Although she confided to me the wire hanger story was a lie. And you won an Oscar. Yes, sir. How come? <laughs> what, what, how come? For, for, for what film? I won an Oscar for Schindler's List and for Saving Private Ryan. Oh, my God. I, I'm telling you, had I known what you'd accomplished, I would have showered this morning. Did you see Saving Private Ryan? I, I think I saw the middle or something in Tom's. Isn't he in fatigues? He's an army fatigue. He's, he's, a, he's a ranger. Oh, no, I'm thinking of Money Pit. Well, he was not in fatigues in Money Pit. Mm, part of it he was, I think, in the, in the DVD. Oh, I produced the movie. I produced uh, the Money Pit. And... I know, but I've seen it, and you just produced it. And then, and you've made so many films. When are you going to do the big one? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, big one? Something that clicks with the public. Something that clicks with the public. Yeah. You I'd know... love to see it, because I think you're good. I have all the things I've noticed in the notes, and this really shocked me, because we were in makeup uh, earlier, and you were getting all your hands done. I thought, oh, wait. You majored in English, and yes. yet your grammar is spotty. Where have you seen my grammar? You's going to use that powder puff, you said at one point, and I thought that was strange, and I thought that was my eyeliner, you said, and it was like having, you know, Jethro from the Beverly Hillbillies over. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Dreyfuss, you've used in lots of films. Someone told me once that, went, uh, that you have a whistle that only Richard can hear. <laughs> Stephen, here's the big thing. You've done so much. What is the secret to your craft? How do you sum up your special genius? I don't think of myself as a genius. I think of myself as somebody that makes movies and finds scripts and tells stories. And, and, and I, I think if I have any kind of a secret to my craft, it's that I've seen a lot of movies. I've watched a lot of old pictures from the 1930s and 40s no. and 50s. Mm -hmm. Films by Howard Hawks. Oh, yeah. Films by, you know, Preston Flat. Sturgis mm -hmm. and Alfred Hitchcock. Mm -hmm. And so some of the greatest scripts that were ever written, some of the greatest filmmakers ever to shoot pictures, they all worked in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. And I love to watch these old pictures. I look at the screen, and I, I screen them for myself. I go to revivals. Scorsese and I work with the Artist Rights Foundation to preserve these old pictures, because these films are our cultural heritage. So my craft really is informed by everything I've ever seen in my entire life. And so I really think that if you had an appreciation of old, old movies, you would probably be inspired to see a lot of the movies that they make today. So you would have seen all the pictures of Bob Zemeckis, like Forrest Gump and like Castaway, and, and pictures like Adaptation and all the movies that are coming out from the independence this Well, way. that sounds like really good. I want to thank you. Thank you. This was an experience for me. And it was great. Wait, 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 one second, just one second. Okay. What do you
you can do with that? I'm gonna do E.T. I'll be right here. Thank you, Stephen. Stephen Spielberg. The man of magic. Thank you. Thank you, Jiminy. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna have to edit this. We're gonna have to trim it down. Because <laughs> he rambled too low. <laughs> God willing. Primetime Glick. We'll be back after this.